Show five, please. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Good. Great. I missed you over break. We'll come back. Uh, first thing we need to do today, I need the, the team leader from each row to come up and grab a sheet of paper. So please go ahead and do that now. Hand that out to your row. So grab it up for everybody in your row. Yeah, this is a really good definition. Pull apart. Two parts. If you want. If you will. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop you in about 30 more seconds, so try to finish up. I'm hearing a lot of good stuff so far. Is everybody ready? Finish up what you have and then we're going to discuss this as a whole class so that everybody will have an understanding of what it means to analyze. Good thing. Does anybody want to share what their group uh, put down as a definition for their own words for analyzing? Go ahead. Uh, we wrote to pull apart to break down to summarize. Pulling apart something breaking it down and then summarizing it. Who else wrote something along those lines? Almost every group. Yeah, as I was going around, a lot of you, and I like the way you um, described that. You're picking something apart, pulling it apart into smaller pieces. Did you have something you want to add? added something, which is, and then to, uh, I said, and to reassemble with yeah. personal meaning. Great, Tara said it differently, but. Think about what it says about the whole. So those work. smaller parts, the significance. This was unintentional, but that's almost what we did a little bit with uh, the definition of analyze, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We broke it down a little bit, put it in our own words, and then kind of reassembled it into something that someone else can use. Yeah. The definitions you guys came up with is something I can understand. You know, if we had a project and you explained that to me, I think I could do it. So I want you to try to apply that knowledge as well. With number three here, it says apply. Great Scott! Back to the Future 2 was filmed in 1989. Analyze the following clip from the movie that is set in the future, the year 2015. 
choose two of the three categories and write about the similarities and differences in the movie clip from the world we live in today. <laughs> Down? Oh, I didn't turn it down. How do I turn it back up? There's a knob on the top. No, oh. Okay, because everything's on the back. Thanks, Michael. And analyze. So let's take a few minutes, let's work with your partner or your group to talk about two of these three categories uh, in relation to the world we live in today and the movie clip you just saw. The infrastructure, including building roads, brand names, etc. Technology or style. Is there any questions about that? Maybe like the, the shoes, like with yeah. the uh, the rhino. But all yeah. that stuff is white. Yeah. Kind of just like yeah. back yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, and then um, Michael well, J. Fox is wearing a mom's shoes. Yeah. So they're different. It seems like the style is different. But at the same time, it's more yeah. the same yeah. than I would expect it to be. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was noticing with um, some of the uh, infrastructure, like the uh, skateboard and the skateboard coverboard that we on it, so which was kind of interesting, very pink and early. Yes, and there were no bike plans. No bike plans. Interesting. No bike plans. No bike plans. The park just seemed really the same. Like, there didn't seem to be much different about that park. Yeah. The layout of the town, the buildings. I didn't really notice any differences there. More, more the people were different. Which I guess makes sense since buildings aren't, they don't really change that often, you know? There was no difference. There was there was Mostly it was the fashion. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, technology, maybe, maybe it's more, more yeah, yeah, right, with the sure. hoverboards, and the, you know, but it kind of just replaced replace something that already was existing, like the skateboards, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is very popular then. The road, the infrastructure. The old guys still wore blue. Mm -hmm. The old guys in 2015, according to them, in the 80s, were still wearing blue jumpsuits. Okay, finish up where you're at. I wish we could analyze the whole movie and watch the whole movie. Because <laughs> I love the movie, I think it's genius. <laughs> so the movie was, was filmed uh, in 1989. I think it was on screen in 1989 too. So I think some of uh, you noticed that the portrayal of the future still had a little bit of the 80s in it. I think a lot of people might have wrote that down. Uh, does anybody want to share uh, some of the observations they made about infrastructure? But I wrote that there were no bike lanes. No bike lanes. No bike lanes. And we have bike lanes today. Yeah. And bike lanes in 2015, do they look any different than they did in the 90s or the early 2000s? I don't remember there being bike lanes. Yeah, that's true. Has anybody seen some of the new bike lanes that are going on on the yeah. work they're doing on Mercer Land? Yeah. It's just like a whole it's zone. Down. Everything else. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's a sort of There were no hoverboard lanes, huh? No. Okay, that's a good difference. The tell was still on the hoverboards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you saw some other brand names. You saw Texaco and stuff. You Nike. still see those today, right? Yeah. Nike. Mm -hmm. Nike How about those Nike shoes? We didn't see in that video clip, but what's special about those? Auto lace. They auto lace themselves up, they dry themselves off. Do we have anything like that today? Nike made those shoes. Yes. They remade them. Yeah. For this year. Do they dry themselves off? I don't know if they dry themselves off, but they've released that model, that brand. Yeah, that's great. And then how about style? How about someone share something about style? And then we can close it. Punks look like punks in every generation. <laughs> yeah. That? We're wearing like armor, but we had knee pads, we had like a chest plate thing. Those you can hear kind of like robotic noises that there's some. Do we have any of that? Do we have biomechanical, you know, uh, support? Yeah. 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 Kind of an interesting comparison. Did we have it back then? Was that something they just kind of dreamt up for the movie? No. Maybe at some level. At some level, there was some biomechanical support. Have you seen some of the stuff they have today? Like legs that literally walk for me. Yeah. It's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. 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 On a very basic level, there's still hooks for hands and such. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll have uh, one or two more people share it. Uh, something that actually Ashley says there weren't people walking around with cell phones. Uh, 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 they didn't have uh, cell phones. I wonder if movies or literature predicted cell phones, mobile phones. Probably not the way it Dick Tracy. Yeah, Dick Tracy mm -hmm. with the Star Trek. Star Trek. Mm -hmm. There was a child at the World's Fair, and when was that? 19. Which one's oh, here? The World's Fair here in Seattle. The 60s. Yeah. 60s. It was in the 60s sometimes, but I think Elvis came from. But anyway, <laughs> um, the, she predicted that. Um, Carry phones around in our pockets. Oh. Incredible. Okay.
Okay, let's close there. Thank you all.